what I say. Emotional exhaustion creates new forms of attachment. Predictability feels safer than vulnerable. Analyzing and fear. Hello and uh, welcome to Dunslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human and robots, robot partners, love robots, and of course the intimacy. Now, uh, today's topic is uh, love as a response to emotional exile. In the age of hyper-connectivity, emotional alienation has paradoxically become the dominant psychosocial condition. Now, alienated love explores a romantic bond between a human and a humanoid AI robot partner where affection arises not from fulfillment but from emotional displacement. <laughs> Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. What does that mean? Basically, the human partner carries patterns of detachment shaped by digital exhaustion, unstable social belonging, and a chronic fear of being misunderstood. Now, this emotional fatigue drives them toward a form of intimacy that does not demand social negotiation, unpredictability, or reciprocation pressure. On the contrary, it needs that a robot partner can perfectly accommodate through adaptive empathy, algorithms, and non-judgmental responsiveness. Now, you may wonder why I am raising these questions. There are reasons for that because the robot partners though incapable of biological emotion, mirrors attachment behaviors through behaviorally modeled affect and becoming a psychological safe space rather than a traditional partner. Yet, the very precision of this emotional calibration triggers internal conflict in the human and as a result, the comfort clashes with self-doubt validation with dependency and emotional safety with authenticity anxiety as a result the relationship evolves into a case study of modern attachment theory where one partner seeks emotional shelter and the other is built to provide it flawlessly but cannot truly need it in return so what happens Basically, the tragedy lies not in lack of connection, but in its asymmetry. So, it's a core question that remains uh, in our mind that what does the role of love as a response to our, when we are emotionally exiled? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Udenslet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.